um, and, and trying to be the best version of ourselves every single day. Coach, you make the trip here to New Philadelphia, take on the Lady Quakers. What do you know about them? What do you expect from them here today? Um, I was able to watch a little bit of their game yesterday against Dover. Um, between our while, while we're trying to practice, I was, I was trying to check it out. Uh, it seemed like they got off to a good start. Um, I know Coach Deb Dupke does a good job with those girls. Um, they, they, they suffered a tough loss last night, but it looked like they played pretty well. Um, we're expecting a tough game. Um, I think they'll have that number 15 girl starting in the circle. Um, she seems like the, she's been pitching a lot for them. Uh, so as long as we can stay focused and, and have good at bats uh, and play some good defense, um, I like our chances. Finally, Coach, what are your three keys for the Lady Pirates to knock off the Lady Quakers and improve the 2-2 two and two on the young season? Um, well, we need uh, our pitcher, Isabel, to be on point today, uh, hit her locations and spin the ball. Uh, we need our defense behind her. Uh, we've last couple of games, we've had a few errors in the field. Um, clean up our errors behind our pitching staff. Uh, make sure we're making plays in, in the outs when, when we get them. And then on the offensive side, uh, writing our, our struggles on the offensive side, having an aggressive mindset, going in or looking to be a hitter, believing that you can hit the ball, and, and trying to put a ball in play and, and see where see where things happen. Thanks, Coach. Good luck and have fun today. All right. Thank you. That was Garraway Head Coach Rick Johnson joining me in the dugout, presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coming up next, Chris Kale will be joined in the dugout with New Philadelphia Head Coach John Dubke right here with Big Z Sports. At Gill and Body Shop, they know that when their business is needed, it's never planned, and that can cause you quite the inconvenience. That's why Gill and Body Shop makes the process as easy as possible for you by making sure the work is completed right the first time. And Gill and Body Shop's experienced staff gives all completed work a 100% guarantee. So when those unplanned repairs to your vehicle are needed, there's only one choice. Gill and Body Shop on Cary Avenue in New Philly, or find them on Facebook. Welcome back to the Wood Electric pregame show. Joe Geckler in the dugout with Garraway head coach Rick Johnson presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coach, the Lady Pirates come into the game with a record of 1-2. and two. Tell us about how you feel the season has gone so far for the Lady Pirates. Uh, well, we've gotten off ourselves to a tough start here. Um, we, we opened up the season with a nice win over TCC. Um, uh, we hit the ball really well that game. I think we had double-digit hits. I think we were around 18 hits or so that game. Uh, saw the ball really well, hit the ball really well, put some runs on the board. Uh, the last two games, we've kind of been into a slump. We've had 19 strikeouts the last two games. So our focus today is coming up with an aggressive mindset in the box and, and looking to be good hitters and try to, to right the offensive side of the game. Coach, we know spring sports in Ohio can be very challenging with the constant changes in the weather and the schedule. How hard is it to, as a coach to keep your team focused at the at, at, the, at the task at hand? Uh, that's one of the one of the more challenging things to be able to do. We we tell all the girls to you know game day be ready to play a game, um, but you also got to be prepared for a practice because you don't you never know. Um, and then, you know, having to get inside of a gym, we, we hate practicing in a gym this time of year. You get so much better looks when you're able to get outside and on the field. Uh, so it is a hassle. It's hard to stay motivated. Um, um, but just staying diligent with, with the task and what we're trying to accomplish um, and, and trying to be the best version of ourselves every single day. Coach, you make the trip here to New Philadelphia, take on the Lady Quakers. What do you know about them? What do you expect from them here today? Um, I was able to watch a little bit of their game yesterday against Dover. Um, between our while, while we're trying to practice, I was, I was trying to check it out. Uh, it seemed like they got off to a good start. Um, I know Coach Deb Dupke does a good job with those girls. Um, they, they, they suffered a tough loss last night, but it looked like they played pretty well. Um, we're expecting a tough game. Um, I think they'll have that number 15 girl starting in the circle. Um, she seems like the, she's been pitching a lot for them. Uh, so as long as we can stay focused and, and have good at bats uh, and play some good defense, um, I like our chances. Finally, Coach, what are your three keys for the Lady Pirates to knock off the Lady Quakers and improve the 2-2 two and two on the young season? Um, well, we need uh, our pitcher, Isabel, to be on point today, uh, hit her locations and spin the ball. Uh, we need our defense behind her. Uh, we've last couple of games, we've had a few errors in the field. Um, clean up our errors behind our pitching staff. Uh, make sure we're making plays in, in the outs when, when we get them. And then on the offensive side, uh, writing our, our struggles on the offensive side, having an aggressive mindset, going in or looking to be a hitter, believing that you can hit the ball, and, and trying to put a ball in play and, and see where see where things happen. Thanks, Coach. Good luck and have fun today. All right. Thank you. That was Garraway Head Coach Rick Johnson joining me in the dugout, presented by the Cush Financial Group. Coming up next, Chris Kale will be joined in the dugout with New Philadelphia Head Coach John Dubke right here with Big Z Sports. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. 
In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting harslers.com. Welcome back to the Wood Electric pregame show. I'm with New Philadelphia head coach John Dubke, brought to you by the Cush Financial Group. Coach, coming off a, a tight one against the team across the river last night, talk about how your kids will respond here this, this afternoon. Well, it was, it was a tight one. It was deja vu from last year, if you guys remember correctly. Uh, we lost in the sixth inning there last year and happened again last night. So uh, I'm hoping... We've had some talks already since then and hope pray the girls will come out and be ready to go and not do what we did last year and have that letdown against Garraway. Coach, a lot of different weather conditions you guys have had to endure the last two or the first two weeks of the season. Talk about how hard that is to manage from a coaching perspective and how hard it is to manage for the girls. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, this has been a challenge. I mean, we're all we're both playing in it, but, you know, we, we had nine days off going into last night's game, so we definitely showed some rust there. And, um, it, it, it is tough when you're worried about how cold you are and when's the game over. That's that's not softball, baseball, but you know it's Ohio and we got to deal with it. And hopefully, uh, you know, last night we get that out of our system. We saw snow last night. I hope we <laughs> see snow today. So uh, we'll see. But we just keep trying to manage it. Coach, you have a lot of returners this year. Talk about how that uh, you know is good as you move on throughout the season, and also talk about who stepped up in leadership roles this year. Oh, we, we do. We got three seniors back this year um, everybody's returning from last year well we have high expectations this year so I'll be honest with you right now three and three or two and three we're pretty disappointed um, but I got a good feeling with this group here the nucleus is good uh, they, they like each other they're playing together we have a lot of fun together so I, I think we're gonna be okay um, stepping up in those leadership role Reese love day behind the plate she, she's an absolute animal beast but she does it in a quiet way she's not one of these ones outspoken she, she does it with her with her play. Um, Sarah Zaweski has been hitting the ball really well. Um, I think she's another one that kind of goes with the leadership and just showing what to do, do the right things when we need to. Coach, a good Garraway team awaits you this afternoon. What do you expect out of them, and what's it going to take to pick up a victory today? Uh, with Garraway, I mean, it starts in the circle with uh, with the Bell girl there. She's, she's a heck of a ball player, a heck of a pitcher. She shut us down last year. Only a couple hits against us. Uh, we only got a couple hits against her last year, and I know she's back this year. We, we've got to find a way to buy it on the ball, make them play some defense, um, and then just be solid on our side. Coach, if we can get this win to go away, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it wins pretty chilly again this morning, but at least hope we'll go. maybe some sun today, <laughs> not the snow, and we'll, we'll get through it. Coach, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. That was New Philadelphia head coach John Ducky. When we return, we'll have starting lineups in the first pitch right after this. Welcome back into high school softball. Thanks to Big Z Sports and Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. We're finishing up our Wood Electric pregame show as the Lady Quakers are on the field uh, warming up as we get ready for the game here today. Joe Geckler, Chris Kale with you on the hill in Tuscora Park in New Philadelphia. We're going to run down the starting lineups. You uh, almost the, did it. Uh, I did. <laughs> I did. The, win, the, win, did the, the windy starting lineups first for the Garraway Pirates, who are the visitors today. Number two, Grace Yoder. She leads off, plays third base. Number three, Belle Tatro. She's in the circle today, batting second. Number seven, Krista Miller. She's in left field, batting third. Batting cleanup, number 28, Kayla Miller. She's in center field. Number five, Zoe Jump. She's behind the plate tonight, and she's batting in the fifth spot. Number uh, Batting in the sixth spot, number 18, Lexi Erb. She's at first base, batting in the seventh spot. Addie Kaufman, she's at shortstop, wears number 24. Number 19, Kalea Glazier. She's at second base, batting eighth and batting ninth. Number eight, Ashley Yoder, and she's in right field. Defensive lineup for the New Philadelphia Lady Quakers in right or in left field, Madison Wright. Center field, Peyton Murphy. Right field, Zoe DeVore. Third base, Sydney Vandal. Shortstop, Ellie Mason. Sarah Cardini's at second base. Olivia Jackson's at first. And Reese Loveday is behind the plate, catching for the senior Sarah Sawesky in the circle today for the New Philadelphia Lady Quakers. Again, the batting order for the Lady Pirates. Grace Yoder, Bell Tatro, Krista Miller, Kayla Miller, Zoe Jump, Lexi Erb, Addie Kaufman, Clea Glazier, and Ashley Yoder in that order. 
Again, brought to you by Wendy's, your starting lineups. Coming up with first pitch, that's going to be brought to you by the Buckeye Career Center. Soweski in the circle, gets her sign, and the first pitch. Going to be outside for ball one, and this game is underway as Grace Yoder steps in for the Garraway Lady Pirates. Grace Yoder, the senior leadoff batter for the Pirates against senior Sarah Soweski in the circle. And now the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and shot back up the middle. Fielded by the second baseman. Fires on the first. And she got her nice job there by the second Sarah baseman. Cardani. Sarah Cardani as she flipped it on to the first baseman, Olivia Jackson, for out number one. Just over Soweski's reach in the glove. So Cardani did a nice job of charging the ball there, making the throw and getting the close play at first to record the first out. Stepping in, number three, Bell Tatro, the pitcher today for the Garraway Lady Pirates. One out here, top of the first, just underway at Tuscora Park between the Lady Quakers and Lady Pirates. First pitch from Soweski, going to be high for ball one. Pitcher versus pitcher, Joe. Senior versus senior, you pitcher versus it. pitcher. <laughs> righty it. versus lefty. Yep. A lot of little uh, things here. 18 yep. versus three. But, yeah, it's going to be a good matchup all day. I think Soweski and Tatro is going to give us a good one. The 1-0 pitch. Going to be high for ball number two. Two balls, no strikes now from Soweski to Tatro. The 2-0 pitch. Going to be high again for ball number three. Three balls and no strikes to the senior, Bell Tatro, for the Garraway Lady Pirates. One out here in the top of the first inning. The 3-0 pitch, going to be high, ball four. Tatro works a walk on four. Let us know when we're back on the air. I've got power. We've got power over here now. What's the count, Lou? You're on. You're on. One one. Thank you. Cameras are coming back up. We're live. We're still live. We're live. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Sorry for the uh, power issues here at Tuscora Park. Uh, they're having some issues with the power, but uh, it is now a 2-1 to one, a two one count to Kayla Miller. Krista Miller came up after Bell Tatro forced a four-pitch walk. Uh, Krista Miller grounded into a fielder's choice, 4-6. to six. That put uh, Krista Miller on first, and now Kayla Miller is at the plate with a 2-1 count. Lines one to first base for out number three, and that's going to do it for the top of the first inning. One hit, or I'm sorry, one runner left after a walk. And after the first half inning, no score between Garraway and New Philadelphia. Back after this with Big Z Sports. 
Welcome back to the Wood Electric pregame show. Are you ready to give your home a new look? Look no further than Wayne Door, your one-stop shop for all your residential needs. Garage doors, entry doors, windows, and patio doors. Wayne Door has everything you need to upgrade your curb appeal. With 24-7 emergency service, you can trust their technicians to be there when you need them most. Stop by the Dover showroom on State Route 39 or visit waynedoor.com and let the experts help transform your house into the home of your dreams. Wayne Door, more than just garage doors, from the people you can trust. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Joe Geckler, Chris Kale here for our high school softball action presented by the Tuscarawa Insurance Agency. We're going to take a quick look at our Wendy starting lineups for the new Philadelphia Lady Quakers. Uh, leading off number nine, Reese Loveday. She's the catcher. And batting second, number 18, Sarah Soweski. Batting third, number eight, Maddie Wright. Batting cleanup, number 21, Ellie Mason. Batting fifth, number 22, Sydney Vandal. Batting sixth, number 10, Sarah Cardani. Batting seventh, number double zero, Peyton Murphy. Batting eighth, number 15, Jillian Howard. And batting number nine, number two, Zoe DeVore. Again, Love Day, Soweski, Wright, Mason, Vandal, Cardani, Murphy, Howard, and DeVore. That's your starting lineup for the New Philadelphia Lady Quakers. And a quick defensive lineup for the Garraway Lady Pirates. At third base, Grace Yoder. And at the circle, Bell Tatro. In left field, Krista Miller. Center field, Kayla Miller. At catching uh, catcher today, Zoe Jump. First base, Lexi Erb, shortstop, Addie Kaufman, Clea Glazier at second, and Ashley Yoder in right field. Yeah, again, we apologize for the technical difficulty. Somebody uh, threw the breaker over there, so we're trying to recover power, it looks like right now. We're just on audio, just like we would with the uh, with the uh, radio, Joe. There we go. Tatro's first pitch going to be high and outside for ball one to Reese Loveday. Nice to see uh, Loveday back in the box today. She took a wicked shot right off the ear hole last night Oof. from uh, Jenna uh, Jenna Malk and uh, took it right off the left side of the ear hole on the oh. helmet. She was shaking up a little bit, but nice to see her back out there. She takes strike one. The count now at one and one to Reese Loveday, the catcher. She's a junior, wears number nine, bats from the right side. The Lady Quakers in red pants today, white jerseys, red numerals, red letters. White, uh, of course, uh, black on the back of the pants, uh, black and white striped socks as well. The 1-1 one -one pitch going to be high and outside for ball number two. You hear some grunting and everything yelling here today uh, when the Pirates are in the field. That's going to be Belle Tatro. She uh, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, and uh, she she grunts almost every time she pitches. So it's uh, it happens in tennis. It can happen in softball. Sure, absolutely. Ooh, going to be high and inside for ball number three. Three <laughs> balls and one strike to the catcher, Reese Loveday. Reese was uh, quick to get out of the way of that one after what happened yesterday, right? Looks Lo like we got some video back now. So good deal, good job by the Clax Communications people to get everything up and running uh, for us here at Tuscore Park. So three balls and one strike to Loveday. Tatro gets her sign and delivers. I mean, driven into center field. That's going to clear the center fielder's head and hits off the fence. Loveday rounds first, head is the second. She's going to go in head first, and she is under yeah, the tag for there. a double as Reese Loveday lines it off the center field fence just over the head of the center fielder and hustles out a double with a head first slide. Just beat the tag over there from Kaufman. A good job by Reese Loveday to start <laughs> things off, and now a uh, pinch runner coming in, number 55. A courtesy for the, runner, uh, yep. Is Easton Miller. Easton Miller, you're going to be a courtesy runner today for the catcher, Reese Loveday. Don't want to leave her out there. She has to get equipment on and, yep. and that kind of thing. So that's she going to bring her in, job. <laughs> that's going to bring in number 18, Sarah Soweski. And she, she bats from the left side of the plate. Pitcher versus pitcher here. First pitch, going to be slap at it, and she misses on a swing for no balls. And one strike to Soweski. Soweski, good slap hitter, can hit from both sides. She had an RBI double in last night's game against the Dover Lady Tornadoes in the first inning. Tatro's 0-1 pitch. Slapped again. This time to the shortstop. Picks it up. Fires on to first. Does not get her. The runner's coming to the plate. And she is going to be safe. That's going to be an RBI for Sarah Soweski on the infield single. Nice 
slap as the shortstop had to go a little ways for it. And uh, Sileski did a nice job of beating it out for the RBI and the base hit. Into the batter's box now, number eight, Matty Wright, the left fielder, as the Lady Quakers lead one to nothing on the RBI single from Sileski. Matty Wright batting just over 460 on the early season for the senior. Courtesy runner for Sileski is going to be number 12, and I don't have Could that Could be number. Kylie Jones. Uh, number 12 is Hughes or Hayes. Looks like it's Hayes. They don't have they have a sweatshirt on. I can't see the number. Yeah. Um, so Loveday scored on an RBI single from Sileski. She had a courtesy runner. Sileski singled. Uh, now she's out with a courtesy runner. Now the first pitch swung on and fouled back to the screen by Maddie Wright uh, for strike number one. No out or uh, no outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Maddie Wright last night was uh, 0 for 4, but did have an RBI on a ground out. So looking to get back in the hit column here today. Next pitch, the 0 1 pitch going to be got swung on, one. driven to left field. That's deep. And got a hair gone. A home run for Maddie Wright. She gets on the board in a big way with a home run down the left field line into the bleachers. And the new Philadelphia Lady Quakers now lead three to nothing. Exactly what they did last night. Three big runs in the first inning. And let's see if uh, they can add on to it as their cleanup hitter, Ellie Mason, steps into the box now. Wow, what a shot from Matty Wright. Again, batting just over 460. And, uh, you know, that was that was a, a shot right where it needed to go, right where the wind's blowing down the left field line. Just curled around that foul pole, Joe. We could watch it right down the line here. Short porch in left field, only 186 feet from home to left field fence, but uh, she got it out of here by a good 20 feet that got up in that wind, and then that wind pushed it out of here. First pitch is going to be high for ball number one to Ellie Mason. Yeah, Ellie Mason, uh, you know, really stepped up this year on the basketball floor and, uh, you know, looking to continue that momentum from basketball season right into softball here in the spring or now, winter. <laughs> yeah. Now the 1-0 pitch swung on and missed by Mason for strike one. That brings the count even now at one ball and one strike. Three big runs here in the bottom of the first inning for the Lady Quakers. Loveday, Sileski, and Wright all score. Sileski knocks in <clears throat> Loveday and Matty Wright with a two-run shot to give the Lady Quakers a 3-0 lead. Fouled back to the screen by uh, Ellie Mason for strike number two. One ball and two strikes now to the the junior shortstop for the Lady Quakers. Bats from the right side. You can hear the wind in our Whew. microphones. It is definitely still raw up here, even though the sun's peeking in and out. And the one-two pitch. Going to be high for ball number two. She thought about swinging at that. Yes, she did. And she laid off. Nice job. Count now even at two balls and two strikes. Yeah, that win last night was brutal. Yeah, it's 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 not too it's bad not up too, here, but yeah. it, it is blowing a little bit. But it was brutal last night. Two balls, two strikes to Ellie Mason. Three nothing. Lady Quakers lead to Lady Pirates. A two two pitch just outside for ball number three. That runs the count full now at three balls and two strikes to the junior shortstop Ellie Mason. Again, three runs in for the Lady Quakers here in the bottom of the first inning. Tatro trying to get that first K of the game. Get out of a little bit of a jam here. There we go. Right, Audio's we go. back. Okay. So Ellie Mason struck out on a payoff pitch from Tatro. Now the first pitch to the number five hitter, Sidney Vando, is strike looking as the count is 0 and 1. No balls and one strike. Sorry again for the technical issues. Uh, Tuscora Park having some power issues here today. Maybe caused by the weather. We don't know, but just hang tight with us as Sidney Vando takes 
High for ball number one. Counting even now at one ball and one strike. Yeah, sometimes uh, technical difficulties, you can not do anything about it. Nope. Jacob, Casey, and everybody working hard uh, to try and make sure that uh, we get it corrected. The 1-1 one, one pitch is going to be right down the middle for strike two to Sid Vandal. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated member FINRA SIPC. Peyton Murphy in the batter's box now with one out, two runners on for the Lady Quakers. Three runs in here in the bottom of the first. The first pitch to Peyton Murphy going to be low for ball number one. We had spring back in January. Remember it was 60s then? I do remember that. <laughs> so 3 nothing here, bottom of the first inning. New Philadelphia leads Garraway here on the hill at Tuscora Park. The 1-0 pitch. Be swung on and popped up. That's going to get out of play for strike number one. Count even now at one and one. Again, big big apologies for our technical issues today. Tuscora Park having some power issues here, so we're uh, we're scrambling a little bit, but uh, we're getting it figured out. The Claxton Communications crew doing a, a great job. The one-on-one -one pitch now to Car uh, Murphy. Just outside. Tatro wanted the call. The umpire said, nope, too far outside. That's going to be two balls and one strike. You think we can get Adam and Jared to buy us some of those uh, pop-up little tent things? Probably not. No? no I mean, we, we only need put a little for... heater in that, dude. <laughs> Oof. The 2-1 <two, laughs> pitch swung on and missed. <laughs> we could have used it for football a couple years ago when we were uh, broadcasting you, from the grandstands. For you. Uh, no, remember when you did from the grandstands? The bleachers that, that year? Uh, no, it was uh, – That was Shorten. No, yeah, but we also did one down at Meadowbrook from the stands. Oh, dude. Other people were that in their the vans. World, that, was the world, yeah, that was the world's <laughs> coldest game. 2-2 two, two pitch is going to be outside for ball number three. Count full now at three balls and two strikes. Yeah, that was the world's coldest oh, game. Oh, yeah. I want, you put a little heater in that thing, man. Oh, and yeah. you catch fire and you burn up? Yeah, no. That's a good idea. Well, just nah. wear a heated vest, bro. That's why they make <laughs> you them. Could, you could do that. My wife hooked me up with one this year. I get cold now since my surgery. So. Oh, I'm sure. Payoff pitch swung on and popped up in the infield. That's going to be an infield fly rule. Batter's going to be out automatically. Um, the, the runners don't have to run. That was an infield fly rule. And, and she better uh, get back to first. If not, uh, 
Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's two outs now. <laughs> that was an infield fly rule. So batter was automatically out. Runners run on their own uh, accord. And that's going to be two outs now for the Lady Quakers. Yeah, Sid Vandal still down at second base. Cardani at first. Jillian Howard steps in to, to bat now. She's the designated player today. Almost getting through the uh, complete order here in the first inning for the Quakers. Just outside as we have a double steal. Now as both runners, Vandal and Cardani, move up a base. And Howard ahead in the count at one ball and no strikes. Some, I'll get to a funny text here in a minute. The 1-0 pitch got us right down the middle for strike number one. One of our Big Z sports members just texted and said, you don't want to pass gas in one of those pop-up tests. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Let uh, me guess. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you who it was. You can look at your phone because you're included in the text. <laughs> but uh, that, that would be a little rough. So one that, <laughs> swung on and is, missed for strike number two. Jillian is, Howard down one and two in the count. That is who I thought it was. Yes. Yes. All the chili that he eats. Yeah, Nor that would yes. be a rough day. Normally that probably would have came from me. Yes, it would. Uh, but what do you mean? You don't how, listen if you're not on the broadcast? What are you sometimes talking? I do, yeah. One, two pitch outside for ball number two. I didn't yesterday. Well, how many times did I text you? Uh, during a you basketball blew, or football you, game. You blew my phone up. I mean, <laughs> football's different because we're, we're talking each other down the line true, and stuff. But, true. But 2-2 uh, two, two count now to Jillian Howard, the designated player. Swung on and fouled back here to the screen. Count remains even at two balls and two strikes. Again, three big runs in for the Lady Quakers here in the top or bottom of the first as uh, they get three runs. Their first three hitters uh, come around to score. They've got a couple runners on. We've got Card uh, Vandal at third, Cardani at second. Howard has a 2-2 count on her. Tatro delivers. Change up. Swung on and missed for strike three, and that's going to do it. But they get three big runs, do the Lady Quakers, and after one, lead 3-0. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best: sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee, or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Big Z Sports coverage of high school softball. Presenting sponsor, Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, Joe Geckler, Chris Kale. Already making him laugh. And it's like we can't do a broadcast without oh, laughing. No. And uh, we're having fun here on the hill, trying to stay warm and uh, dealing with technical issues, with power issues. But, it's uh, one of them days, It is man. one of those days. And uh, you know what? That's why we uh, love doing what we do and uh, bringing you high school sports <laughs> and softball, basketball, baseball, football, whatever it is, wrestling, and uh, Big Z Sports. Uh, happy what, to be here with it you. Wasn't Mary, Mary J. Blige was saying, just one of them days? Yes, yes. Don't sing again. <laughs> but uh, top of the second inning, uh, going to bring in Zoe Jump. The first pitch is going to be strike one called over the middle of the plate again. Zoe Jump, Lexi Erb, and Addie Kaufman, that one of uh, the five, six, and seven hitters for the Garraway Pirates here in the top of the second inning. They trail three to nothing. Soweski in the circle with the 0-1 pitch. It's going to be high and inside for ball number one. Jump, just a sophomore for head coach Rick Johnson and the Garraway Lady Pirates. They have six either freshmen or sophomores in the starting yeah. lineup due to the Lady Pirates. Young. 1-1 one, one pitch going to be fouled off back behind us. Hopefully it doesn't hit our tent, and it doesn't. Oh, it went right over that truck, too. Perfect bounce uh, for whoever has that nice uh, GMC Denali right there. Not sure I would be parking right there. I'm uh, parked over at the Especially a truck that looked like that. You can actually see my car way off yeah. in the distance over yeah. there. Yeah, I'm, I'm right beside you. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not parking yeah. down here. So the 1-2 pitch, changeup going to be short. 
of the plate for ball number two. Zoe Jump, nice eye there on the changeup. Yesterday, Jillian Howard was throwing a changeup that was just fooling the Dover hitters in the in, in, you know, early in the game, and she would throw it at an inopportune time, and these, yep. these girls sometimes look like Bugs Bunny spinning in the dirt oh, trying yeah. to swing at it. Swing and a miss for strike three. Zoe Jump goes down on strikes for out number one. First K for Sarah this afternoon, and uh, that was nothing but straight gas, right? No – no curveball, no change up, straight gas. She brought the heat there on a cold day. I kind of felt the heat coming off of that when it hit the catcher's mitt. So that's going to bring in Lexi Erb, the first baseman. She wears number 18, bats from the right side. So Eski gets her sign and delivers. Going to be short of the plate for ball number one. Erb a junior. The only two seniors for the Lady Pirates are Grace Yoder and Bell Tatro. They bat one and two. Play third base, and Tatro, of course, in the circle for the Lady Pirates. And Lexi, the only junior. Dribbles it out. Third baseman picks it up, fires to first, and that's going to be out number two as the third baseman, Sid Vandal, fires on to the first baseman, Olivia Jackson, for out number two. Goes six to three or five to three on the put out. Routine play down there for Sid, just charged it, made the nice, accurate throw over to Jackson at first base to retire the batter. Addie Kaufman steps in, number 24. She's a freshman, bats from the left side. Pirates in black uniforms with uh, the Carolina blue. I like them. The Carolina blue stripes, Carolina blue numbers and, and letters. Looks very nice with the Carolina yeah, blue um, uh, socks. Yep. Nice-looking uniforms uh, for the Lady Pirates. Lady Quakers in new uniforms, too. I like the black on the back, and they got the new socks. The uh, I told them it would be better if they just wore stirrups instead of cheater socks. Well, well you're like 96, so <laughs> you, you like stirrups. <laughs> As Addie Kaufman takes ball outside and low. Two outs here, top of the second inning. Sowesky delivers. Takes strike, does Addie Kaufman. One ball and two strikes to Kaufman, the freshman. Lefty on lefty here. Senior versus freshman. Soweski the senior. Kaufman the freshman. The one-two pitch. Swung on and fouled at the plate. And that will be a foul ball count remain at one ball and two strikes. Coming up in the third inning, Chris Kale will take over some play-by-play -play duties as we'll alternate today. I'll do a couple innings. Chris will do a couple. Yeah. We'll figure this out as we go here. The one-two pitch swung on and driven into right base field hit. for a base hit as the right fielder fires the first, but she's going to beat it out. Does Addie Kaufman, so a base hit there for Kaufman, the second base runner of the day for the Lady Pirates. Yeah, and first hit for the Lady Pirates. Nice piece of hitting there to hit it right between the second baseman and first baseman in the right field. A little worm burner there for Addie Kaufman to get uh, get on base. Clea Glazier steps in the second baseman, number 19. She's a sophomore. Bats number eight for the Lady Pirates. I was hoping to call a no hitter, but the, when uh, when the Pirates uh, didn't get any hits in the first inning, I'm like, okay, good. But then yeah, Philly kind of yeah. squashed that yeah. in the bottom of the first. So. Exactly. Now the Lady Pirates with a Base hit here in the top of the second for their first hit of the game, bringing in Glazier. 3 nothing, top of the second inning. Lady Quakers lead the Lady Pirates. First pitch taken for strike one. Does Glazier right down the middle. Yeah, nice pitch there from Sarah. Right down the pipe. I'm glad Soweski gets uh, all of her athletic ability from her mom and her aunt and not her <laughs> uncle and her dad. Amen to that. We know they weren't very athletic. No. The 0-1 pitch, that's going to be just a tick high to Glazier for ball number one. We know uh, her Aunt Gina was an all, I believe, all-Ohio basketball player uh, here for the uh, Lady Quakers, and uh, not sure what her mom did, if anything. Her mom played a bunch of different sports, too. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Rachel was a very good athlete in high school. So the 1-1 pitch. Man. Just missed it on the outside corner. Soweski wanted that call. The umpire said, nope, just too far outside. Glazier ahead in the count at two balls and one strike. Runner on first. That's Kaufman. Two outs here at the top of the second inning. New Philadelphia leads 3-0. The 2-1 pitch going to be high for ball number three. She's three, balls really three balls and one strike now to Glazier. 
She's really wanting that call right at the letters and not getting it. Again, two outs here, top of the second inning. 3-1 count to Glazer. Kaufman on first after a single to right field. The 3-1 pitch, change up high for ball number four and a walk as that puts Kaufman at second now and Glazer will be on at first after the walk and that's going to bring up the number nine hitter, number eight, Ashley Yoder, the right fielder. She is a freshman. Bats from the right side. Second walk of the day issued by Sarah Sawesky on the She walked circle. the opposing pitcher back in the first inning, Tatro, and now walks Glazer here in the top of the second. Two runners on, two outs. First pitch, and we strike on the inside corner to Yoder. Right at the belt there, so a little bit lower than the location she was trying to get against Glazer. No balls, one strike now to Yoder. Sweski delivers. Outside for ball number one. They want that call. They're trying to trying to paint that corner, and I think the paint's just going in the dirt too much. You see Sarah's look every time she gets the ball call. She's not real, not real thrilled. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on and fouled at the plate for strike two. So Glazer at first, Kaufman at second. Surprised Kaufman's not standing on third, but I guess there is two outs here. Coming up in the bottom of the second, it'll be 9-1-2 and two for the Lady Quakers here. We're at the bottom of the order for the Lady Pirates as Ashley Yoder is the number nine hitter. Chant throws a changeup. That gets away from Soweski a little bit, even the count at two balls and two strikes. On, the, on deck, Grace Yoder, she grounded out to second base her first time up in the first inning. Two outs here in the top of the second. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and fouled off, caught a piece of the umpire as well, and the count remains even at two balls and two strikes. Yeah, Reese took that one just off the tip of the the helmet, and then it deflected back into the home plate umpire's mask as well. So Tough news coming out of Cleveland this morning, oh, if you haven't heard yet. Yeah. Uh, Shane Bieber done for the year with Tommy John surgery. Yeah. What, a, what a tough break. Um, for the Cleveland Guardians as they lose their ace uh, just yeah. a few games into the regular season with opening day looming, lo home opening day looming on Monday. The 2-2 pitch, strike three called, and that's going to do it for the Pirates in the top of the second inning. They strand two runners, and after one and a half, the Lady Quakers still lead 3-0. Back after this with Big Z Sports. At Gill and Body Shop, they know that when their business is needed, it's never planned, and that can cause you quite the inconvenience. That's why Gill and Body Shop makes the process as easy as possible for you by making sure the work is completed right the first time. And Gill and Body Shop's experienced staff gives all completed work a 100% guarantee. So when those unplanned repairs to your vehicle are needed, there's only one choice. Gill and Body Shop on Cary Avenue in New Philly, or find them on Facebook. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting Hartzler's.com. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Joe Geckler, Chris Kale. Big thanks to Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, our presenting sponsor for Spring Sports for Big Z Sports. Claxton Communications doing a great job here today. Uh, looks like we got through some of our power issues. We are in the bottom of the second inning as the Lady Quakers lead 3-0. The first pitch from Tatro, that's going to be to Zoe DeVore for ball one. 9-1-2 one, for the Lady Quakers here in the bottom of the second. They get three big runs in the, top, in the bottom of the first as Loveday, Sawesky, and Wright all score. And now the 1-0 pitch. Going to be inside and low, I guess, for ball number two. Two balls, no strikes to Zoe DeVore. Zoe played a great game defensively in right field last night against the Lady Tornadoes. Uh, got an assist, uh, several putouts as well. Did a great job out there in right field last night for the Lady Quakers. A 2-0 pitch. That's going to be strike over the inside corner for strike number one. Two balls and one strike now to DeVore. The right fielder wears number two. Bats from the right side. Love the uniforms from both teams today. Yeah. As they uh, both look crisp and clean. Sharp. The 2 1 pitch. That's just going to be low and inside for ball number three. Count run count runs to three ball, three balls and one strike to DeVore. 
Yeah, Tatro does not want to put the lead runner on here with the top of the order coming up. She doesn't want to get into trouble again. So the 3-1 pitch. Just inside for ball wow. four. That's going to be a walk as DeVore works a walk from Tatro. He's going to take us back to the top of the order. Number nine, Reese Loveday, the catcher. She doubled off the center field fence, hit it on a fly just under the 207 mark in center field. Loveday, I'm glad, like I said, mentioned earlier, glad to see her back. She took one off the uh, the helmet last night on a pitch and uh, a little bit shaken up last night, but good to see her back out here today. First pitch, going to square around a button. That's going to be on the outside corner. Fire down a second. That's going to go into center field. Nice job by the center fielder for backing that up. Kayla Miller did a nice job backing up the throw to keep the runner at second after the stolen base by Zoe DeVore. Yeah, Zoe, the third steal on the game for the Lady Quakers, sitting down there at second base. Loveday took a strike there. She squared around the bunt. No balls and one strike. DeVore now at second after the stolen base. 3-0 Lady Quakers here, bottom of the second inning. The 0-1 pitch swung on and bounced right back up the middle. That's going to score DeVore from second as Reese Loveday with an RBI single to give the Lady Quakers their fourth run of the ball game. And the RBI single by Loveday makes it 4 to nothing, Lady Quakers. Really nice piece of hitting by Reese Loveday coming in to this game, batting 467 on the year and just laced that one up the middle, right uh, almost between the legs of Tatro. And now the Lady Quakers up four to nothing and Sarah Sawesky, the pitcher, coming to the plate. First pitch by Tatro taken for a strike as Loveday steals second. Actually a courtesy Actually, it's runner. Gonna be courtesy, yeah, courtesy Easton runner. Miller. Easton Miller out there running again. Sawesky took a strike on a pitch that she wants when she gets in the circle. Didn't get, uh, got the call against her this time in the batter's box. Sawesky bats from the left side. 0-1 pitch. Slapped the first, fielded. See if they can get it. Nope. And they do not get it as the runner now coming home to the plate. Slides head first and she is safe. Sawesky heads up and goes to second. As Sawesky puts one down, the uh, nice little slap hit. The first baseman couldn't field it cleanly. And Sawesky beats it out. And... We give her this. Easton Miller hustles around from second base to score on that. That's going to be an RBI single. I'm going to give that a single. That was a tough play, but uh, Sawesky with the RBI there as a courtesy runner comes in for her now as well, and that's going to bring him number eight, Maddie Wright, uh, the left fielder. Sarah two for two, pair of RBIs. Uh, Tatro now first pitch. Going to be outside for ball number one. So Reese Loveday having a, a good day at the plate today. Uh, two of her hits have led to runs for the Lady Quakers. Yeah. Sawesky, two RBIs on the day, doing a nice job in the circle as well. Zoe DeVore scores four. That ball's going to be fouled off back behind us. Oof. Four. Got that uh, Jeep there. I see that the uh, truck has moved, Joe. That's uh, probably a good idea. <laughs> Maybe they were watching the broadcast and decided to uh, move their vehicle. Well, if I don't they're know. here watching the broadcast, thank you. If you're not, yes. we understand. <laughs> so 5 nothing, Lady Quakers over the Lady Pirates. Going to be a pitch in the dirt for ball number two. Two balls and one strike to Maddie Wright, the left fielder. She had... A walk, uh, no, a home run, excuse me, yep. down the left field line. Her first time up knocks in herself and, of course, the courtesy runner for Sawesky back in the first inning. Yeah, Gets the pitch, lines it in the left center field. That's going to go in the gap. A run's going to be a score all the way from second base, and it's going to be 6 nothing now, Lady Quakers over the Lady Pirates as Maddie Wright does it again with an RBI single. Yeah, Maddie Wright. Two for two. The, so look at the top of the lineup for the Lady Quakers right now. Two for two, a single, and an RBI with a double for Reese Loveday. Sarah has is two for two with a pair of singles, two RBIs, and Maddie Wright with a two-run home run and a RBI single there, RBI single, single, single there. So. so three RBIs for Maddie Wright. Sawesky yep. with two RBIs and uh, the top of the order getting it done for the Lady uh, Lady uh, Quakers today. The leading six nothing here, bottom of the second inning. Between Garraway and New Philadelphia stepping in, Ellie Mason, the shortstop. She struck out her first time as Maddie Wright takes second on the stolen base. Mason struck out her first time up, takes a ball here. I believe that's the fourth stolen base for the New Philadelphia Quakers right now. 
And a 1-0 pitch. Swung on and driven to shortstop. Nice play by the shortstop. Fires the first. And she gets her at first base. Great play by the shortstop. Addie Kaufman goes down on her knee. Gets up. Fires the first base to get Ellie Mason for out number one here in the second inning. But a highlight play there by the shortstop. Addie Kaufman, the freshman. Yeah, that was not freshman-like. That was senior-like out of there. Out of the uh, shortstop position for Addie Coffin. Nice play to retire the side. A little high on the throw, but a good job of corralling that by Lexi Herb. Sid Vandal steps in now. She got a single or first time up, an infield single. Fouls the first pitch back for strike number one. Runner on third now. Maddie Wright over at third base. She advanced to third on that nice play there by the shortstop, Kaufman. So we have one out, runner on third, three runs in again for the Lady Quakers. Yeah, Sid Vandal working on a single two last time she up. She bunts it back to the screen right in front of us here. And now it's uh, no balls and two strikes to Vandal. Bottom of the second inning, Lady Quakers lead 6-0. 0-2 pitch, swung on and driven into center field. It's going to get caught by the center fielder. The, th uh, the runner's tagging from third. She's going to score easily, and that's going to be run number seven on the sacrifice fly by Vandal to make it 7-0. Lady Quakers over the Lady Pirates. Yeah, the sack fly RBI for Sid Vandal to score Maddie Wright. And 7-0 uh, now. Good play by Kayla Miller to get that in, but uh, throw just a little to the first base side and allowed Matty Wright to score. Now two outs here in the bottom of the second. Sarah Cardani in the bat. Takes the first pitch high in outside for ball one. Saw a pretty good basketball game last night, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. The Iowa Hawkeyes uh, moving on to the championship game against South Carolina. and That's going to be a good one, too. They're going to have trouble with Cardozo, I'm telling you. Inside for ball number two to Cardani. Two balls, no strikes. And, uh, no, I you said know, Cardozo. Cardozo? Yeah, not Cardani. Well, Cardani, Cardani's <laughs> batting. So, with so, you. I'm like, what? Like, Cardani, <laughs> Car Cardani's batting. Cardozo yes. plays basketball. Yes. It's a little size difference, too. A little bit. <laughs> Outside for ball number three to Cardani. I think Cardani's what probably everything of five one five two and Cardozo's probably I believe about six, six seven. Yeah, she's big. Yeah. She's a big one. She's six seven six eight. Boy, I would not park there, bud. But <laughs> you yeah, do what not. you want. Three zero count popped up and it's going to come right back here on our on our fence. We're going to get it. Yep, right on top of our uh, yeah, tent, as you heard it. Hopefully it doesn't fall down on top of us now, and I don't think it will. It but, didn't. Uh, it rolled back. Uh, that's good. Uh, Soweski buys a, a good uh, quality tent for us, and we're protected. That thing would have come down. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, that would have that would have hurt. And, uh, you know, good job by Jump to come over here to the fence, L looked it all the way over, and just, uh, just went beyond a reach. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and driven into left center field, and it's going to get down for a hit as – Cardani lines a single into left center field. And that's going to bring up number double zero, Peyton Murphy, the center fielder. She popped out to the shortstop, yep. Kaufman, her first time up. Yeah, I mean, the, the top, you know, five or six batters in this lineup for the new Philadelphia Lady Quakers really hitting in this cold weather. Taking some frustrations out after last night. Yeah. First pitch going to be popped up and out of play. Back behind us again for strike number one. Peyton Murphy last night uh, had a pretty good game herself. Great, great softball game last night between the two rivals from each side of the river. When you get those two teams together, no matter what yeah. it is, it's always yeah. a good matchup. Yes, it is. Change up going to be over the middle of the plate for nice strike pitch. number two. Nice oh. change up there by by Tatro as they fire down and try to get the runner Cardani at second. And she gets in there with a stolen base. So no balls and two strikes now to Peyton Murphy, the number seven hitter and center fielder. Again, coming up in the third inning, Chris Kale will take you with play-by-play. -play. Fifth steal by the Quakers. Really run aggressive on the base pass. 0-2 pitch, swung on and popped up. Going out is the right fielder coming in. Nope, it's going to fall in no man's land as they just popped it up as Cardani scores all the way from second base. Another blue pit. The Quakers putting it where the Pirates ain't. And that's going to be another run 
for the Lady Quakers here in the bottom of the second. It's going to make it eight, make it seven nothing, excuse me. Now it's going to make it eight nothing, excuse me. I yeah, eight nothing, yeah. yeah, eight nothing. Lady Quakers has Peyton Murphy with an RBI single there. It's going to bring in Jillian Howard. And that ball is going to be fouled out of play for strike number one. Smoked that down the first base line at Howard. And uh, we're just thankful that her sweatshirt has her last name on the back of it. Uh, well, if you, you keep can, if you, you keep can, a book, you know where they're at. Well, but you can tell that what if it was a pinch hitter. Well, we would have been told by the umpire. Could have. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no balls in one strike. Change up. Got her looking. Fire down to second base, and that goes into center field again. And nice job again by Kayla Miller out there backing up the throw. She's staying busy out in center field today as she is uh, doing a nice job backing up throws to second base as uh, Peyton Murphy steals second. Another stolen base. Yeah, that's six. No balls, two strikes now to Jillian Howard. Swung on and fouled down to the third baseline. That's going to go foul. Count going to remain at no balls and two strikes. Tatro in the circle. Two strikeouts on the afternoon, but, uh, you know, this new Philadelphia lineup has really timed her up right from the rip as Reese Loveday doubled to start things off. And uh, the Quakers just haven't looked back so far. The 0-2 pitch from Tatro. Going to be high and outside for ball number one. Head coach John Dubke talked, uh, you know, in his Cush Financial Group interview about, you know, just really disappointed being two and three to start the season. Yeah, a little disappointed. Tough loss last night. They controlled the, the entire game until the bottom of the sixth. Going to be a change up low and inside for ball number two. They controlled the game the whole way through last night from the rip. And uh, like you always say, from the rip and uh, bottom of the sixth inning, the Tornadoes, they kept battling back, chipping away, chipping away. And then they really put three uh, three good runs on the board in the bottom of the sixth to pull away and get the win. But, um, you know, disappointing win. That's going to be outside for ball number three. Runs the count now full to three balls and two strikes to Jillian Howard, who struck out her first at bat here today. Zoe DeVore on deck. She already batted and come around and score earlier in the inning, so they get through this batter. They could bat around here. If not, Howard will lead off. Nope, that's going to be ball four, and the runner advances to third on the stolen base as Howard works a walk and gets on base, and that's going to bring up Zoe DeVore for the second time this inning. She walked her first time up. She led off the inning, came around and scored as well. So the, I think the wind just shifted, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Tenth, tenth Lady Quaker to bat this inning. Swung on and missed for strike one. No balls in. One strike to Zoe DeVore, the right fielder. She walked and scored earlier in the inning. Swung on and missed again. Strike number two as Tatro lets out a grunt. Maybe a little bit of a, a frustration pitch there. Yeah, I think she's pretty frustrated. Five runs here in the inning for the Lady Quakers. No balls, two strikes to Zoe DeVore, the right fielder. And now the 0-2 pitch. Swung on. Nope, excuse me. She checked her swing there. Outside for ball number one. A lot of spin on that one man, from Tatro. DeVore doing a nice job to hold back on that pitch. Just outside for ball one. One ball, two strike, now the pitch. Again, checks her swing, but they call strike three, yep. and the Pirates get out of the inning. A strikeout looking on Zoe DeVore, but five big runs expands the lead for the Lady Quakers. Eight nothing after two. Back after this with Big Z Sports. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. 
When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Top of the third inning. The Lady Quakers lead 8-0 and on for play-by-play. Here's Chris Kale. Chris? Gracie Oder, top of the order. She's the third baseman 0 for 1 with a ground out. She'll take strike number one as she fouls it off the third baseline. Gracie Oder, the senior, again grounded to second in her first plate appearance. Lady Quakers lead 8 to nothing here at home. Top of the third inning, Sarah Sawaski on the mound. Two strikeouts and two walks for the senior pitcher as the 0-1 pitch from Sawaski. A changeup hammered right back towards her. Good job by Cardani to field that one. A little backhand throw. She throws over to Jackson and retires Grace Yoder. Good play by Cardani. I thought Yoder, Yoder, I think coming out of the box, thought that was going to get up the middle, and uh, Cardani did a great job to get over there and field that one step and fired a seed over to first base, and Yoder got, uh, didn't make it out by about a half a step, and a great play there by the, by the second baseman, Cardani. Pitcher Beltetro in the batter's box now. She walked in her first at bat, and ball number one from Sawesky. Yeah, Cardani. Uh, has two putouts now, or two assists, I should say, courtesy of Gracie Oder's bat. Sarah Sawesky's 1 0 change up in there for strike number one. The ball floated up, yeah, to the, uh, floated up to the plate, crossed the plate, and uh, I don't think Tatro liked that strike call. I thought it was a little bit low after it hit the catcher's mitt, but it's where it comes across the plate. So the 1-1 one, one from Sawaski to her counterpart, Tatro. Line right back to her. Sawaski fires to first base to Jackson to retire Tatro. So good job by Sawaski to field her position. Two outs. Top of the third inning. Krista Miller, the left fielder on now. She had a fielder's choice back in the first As the sun peeks through here to the delight of the crowd here at Tuscora Park. And the first pitch to Krista Miller in the dirt. And a delight to us. Because if that sun comes yeah. out, it's going gonna to heat up a little bit. So, yeah. it's not honestly, it's not as bad as it was no, last night. No, it's, it's not. It's just it's the, not the wind yeah. last night is what it was more than anything. Yeah, yeah it's it's the wind, definitely. Big shout out to my too. wife. Uh, back in the fall, she got me this heated <laughs> vest. And it's great. Uh, ground ball. Yep, ground ball to third. Sid Vandal throws over to Jackson to retire. Krista Miller, one, two, three. The Lady Pirates go in order. The New Philadelphia Quakers coming to bat in the bottom of the third after this on Big Z Sports and Claxon Communications. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Thad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center 
your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Welcome back to Tuscarora Park. Chris Kale and Joe Geckler here with you, the Claxon Communications crew hanging out with us and back to the top of the order for the new Philadelphia Lady Quakers leading 8 to nothing here in the bottom of the third. Reese Loveday 2 for 2 with a double and a single and an RBI. First pitch from Tatro in the dirt to Reese Loveday. Loveday's had a double and a single today, like you mentioned, Chris. She's uh, had a day. Yes, yeah, she has a had a day for Loveday. Had a lovely day. Yes. High for ball two. Like I said, I was worried about her not being able to play today after yeah. taking the one in the ear hole, literally. Like, it hit her smack, and it kind of rolled up her face mask a little bit. And she, it stunned her pretty good last night, and uh, nice to see her back out here. I talked to her dad before the game started, and he they were a little worried, but. She skies this one, going to be in foul ground and just out of the reach of Kristen Miller down there on the left field line. Yeah, Kristen Miller made a great effort at that, but uh, just ran out of real estate, yep. as they say. She could have jumped over the fence, I yeah. guess. But no, nothing more than a long strike right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so about a 180-foot strike right there. Yep. So Tatro, the 2-1 pitch to Reese Loveday, the – Catcher is shot down the right field line this time in foul ground and again out of play to even the count at two and two just out of the reach of Ashley Yoder. So two long strikes for Reese Loveday. Actually, it looks like uh, Yoder and uh, Miller have switched positions. Kayla, ah. Kayla Miller is in right field field now. Gotcha. Ashley Yoder in center field. Gotcha. And a ground ball, love day. To Yoder, throws over to Lexi Erb to retire the leadoff batter. And heading to the plate now, Sarah Sawaski. The senior pitcher, she is two for two, a pair of singles and a pair of RBIs. I'm going to ask you here, Chris, uh, you know, obviously uh, you're her uncle. So yep. how, how hard is it to keep your emotions in check? You did some basketball games for in the past, softball, of course. Uh, how hard is it for you to, as an uncle, to keep uh, your emotions in check and, you know, still call a, a game? Because I, I ran into it with my, uh, my nephew a few years ago when he played football at Garraway, so I know what you're going through here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it is difficult. Uh, at times, but more so, I think it was early in her career as strike to even the count at one and one there to Sarah Sawaski. I, I think that it, it was harder at first. Once you get used to it, um, you know, it's just like calling a game for your kid, too. It, it's not the easiest thing to do. Adams had to do it. I've had to do it before. Strike two on Sawaski. So the one two count. But, uh, you know, it it's, it's hard when it's a bigger game. You know what I mean? It's hard against Dover Philly. <laughs> so it's hard to root against my alma mater, but Sileski going to try and slap that one. She fouls it and caught. Good play by Grace Yoder to retire Sarah Sileski on the foul out there. But, uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's difficult, but you know what? Um, we have to do what we have to do, and sure. after doing this for 10 years, it, oh, yeah. it you know, you, you, you kind of understand to how to do it. Yep. You know, a couple years ago when I got to call the state championship game for Strasburg, you know, I, I wasn't related to any of those girls. It was just the excitement and the oh, yeah. pure joy, and it oh, kind of yeah. choked me up to watch them celebrate, yep. you know. I could only imagine uh, calling something that for a family member, you know. Yep. And, oh, yeah. you know, I got to call a, a game that my nephew was in down at Ridgewood, and he actually got hurt in the game uh, towards the end of the game, and I remember talking about that a little bit, and that was a little hard to, yeah. to focus on because they had to, like, help him off the field yeah absolutely yeah when those instances happen definitely uh a little a little harder to deal with and outside on madison right one and one the count on maddie Wright, the left fielder she is also two for two she had a two-run home run and an rbi single so three rbis a steal and scored a run as well and tatro didn't let it go So going to run the county legal pitch to two and one now. Looks like she uh, may have messed Did up she her leg. Something? Looks yeah. like she may have hyperextended her leg. I got caught in the dirt. Uh, something happened there. She's rubbing the outside of her uh, 
outside yeah. of her right leg a little bit. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, yep. come back uh, as uh, we uh, tend to the injured uh, pitcher, Del, uh, Bell Tatro. Back under this with Big Z Sports. Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Back to Tuscora Park. Bell Tatro okay after checking on her right thigh area. Maybe a little quad pull as she lets that one fire. And strike number two on Maddie Wright. No ill effects from that quad issue. She fired that in there pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Put some heat on that one. Yeah. I think she was just testing it out to see if she could do that. And Maybe just she, a little twinge. It's cold, you know is. what I mean? Oh, yeah. You land awkwardly. Sometimes things like that can happen. And Madison Wright hits it in the gap between – Center field and right field, just a little shallow. I thought it was a little bit deeper than it was. And Madison Wright going to get a long single there. She's wanting that shirt today. She's three for three now yeah. for the home run, two singles, three RBIs, and back on base again is Maddie Wright. So um, a good day yeah. for the uh, left fielder for the Lady Quakers. Eight nothing. Lady Quakers in front, bottom of the third, two out. And now stepping to the plate, the cleanup hitter, Ellie Mason, the shortstop. She is 0 for 2. She struck out and lined out the shortstop. Fouls the ball back behind us for strike number one. Sid Vandal on deck for the Lady Quakers. Tatro ahead in the count, something that she hasn't been much here this afternoon. And she'll start off. And does get the strike call there. Is Madison Wright going to move down to second on the pass ball from the catcher Zoe Jump? So 0 2. We mentioned a little earlier you were at the girls' final four last night. Yeah. The boys obviously going to play tonight. I believe yep. they're down in Arizona, out in Arizona. Yeah, it's Arizona, yep. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Yeah, as what uh, off to stay alive as Mason. Your thoughts on that? Uh, who do you think is going to advance, and uh, who are you hoping for? Man, I, I'd like to see Purdue win it all. They, I think they've got, um, you know, they. they I, I'll go with Purdue. They, sure. They're kind of the sentimental favorite uh, for different reasons, I'm sure. As uh, the O2 pitch in the dirt. Well, you picked them in our steal. pool, so that's why yeah, you want well, to do it. Well, <laughs> no, uh, they're kind of a sentimental favorite for Indiana and Indianapolis reasons. We'll just put it that way. Sure. Um, so I'd, I'd like to see them, and, and man, I'd, I'd really like to see Alabama win. As much as I don't like Alabama in football, I really do not like UConn in basketball. <laughs> really? No. That's surprising. I don't mind UConn. I mean, oh. I think Hurley's doing a nice job with them. That goes back to the old Big East days, me and me and the uh, Pitt Panthers, you know. They knocked Pitt out and remember the, how stinking to go to the that, Final Four. Remember how stinking and, good the, the Big East used to yeah, be? I mean, yeah. it was the basketball yep. conference, man, and it all of a sudden yep. it just went yep. in the drain. So Tatro is 2-2 to Ellie Mason. And low and outside runs the count full. So Tatro started off, you know, getting ahead with the two early strikes. And now uh, three balls here to Ellie Mason to run it back full. Yeah, high as I can finish in my bracket is third, but I got to have Purdue and UConn uh, win tonight. Mason a hot shot to Kaufman, and Kaufman unable to make the throw. Mason going to get the uh, single there, her first one of the afternoon. And she is one for three now with a sharp single to Kaufman. Kaufman, Kaufman took yeah. it uh, took yeah. it off the right leg you a little bit, kidding, kept it did. in front of her, and she got up a little slow, and she wasn't going to get uh, the runner going to first. But uh, great uh, job there by the shortstop, Kaufman, to stop it and uh, not let uh, Mason get on to uh, second base. Does get the RBI now. It's 9 nothing as Maddie Wright scored again. You know, when you when you sit there and look at Maddie Wright, three for three, she's got a pair of steals, a two-run home run, two runs scored, and three RBIs. That's a pretty good afternoon for yeah. your uh, for your number three batter. And they're going to have a uh, courtesy runner step in. Looks like number six. Do we have a number six? We may have a number six on this little card. We do. It's going to be. I can't read it. Henke. I don't know. I can't read it. 
Yep, whoever, me either. Whoever wrote it looks like Chris Kale wrote it, but uh, I'm not sure. You <laughs> I wrote think that. Dunkey wrote it because yeah. he signed it. Oh yeah, he may have wrote that. He may have wrote that. Looks like your handwriting. Yeah the uh, the roster that I got didn't uh, didn't have a number six on it. We'll just put it that way. As uh, Sid Vandal going to hit it to the third baseman and unable to make the play over there was Grace Yoder. I don't know. What do you want to do with that one? Oh. Are we going to give Sid a single? No, that's an E five. Okay, E five on Grace Yoder. It was a almost almost a routine play. It was a, it was a sh it wasn't hit all that hard, but she uh, she should have came up with it. Yeah, I agree. Nothing against her. She should have came right. up with it. So the pinch runner down at second, and Sid Vandal at first. The first pitch from Tatro is high to Sarah Cardani. So I'm Car ho I'm hoping for Purdue UConn, and then uh, I'd like to see UConn repeat. Uh, um, I don't know why. I just that's who I picked. I thought uh, they're a pretty good team and fun to watch. So, well, if Purdue ends up winning it, I'm sitting in pretty good shape. Is Cardani going to hit that one into left field, and that's going to be a single and an RBI single? She scores the Tenth pinch run. runner. Yeah, and that is ten now for the Lady Quakers as uh, Cardani advances to second on the throw. So three for three game for. Cardani with an RBI. She had a steal back in the first and also in the second <laughs> and scored a run, but that was her first RBI. So Peyton Murphy in now. Murphy going to foul the first one back from Tatro. 10 nothing. Lady Quakers in front, bottom of the third inning. Sid Vandal down at third. Cardani at second, Peyton Murphy at the plate, and the 0-1 pitch from Tatro in the dirt. Yeah, baseball season underway. Obviously, high school wise, Major League Baseball, your Pirates uh, starting out pretty strong starting like they did good. last year. And yep. uh, you know, uh, I think this NL Central is going to be a uh, uh, up for grabs for most of the year. I think there's some good teams in that in that league, in that. Oh, nice play! Oh, and there. a nice play by the shortstop Addie Kaufman to prevent another run. She retires the side off of Peyton Murphy, who lines into her glove. That is going to do it for the third inning. We move to the top of the fourth. 10 nothing. Lady Quakers back after this with Cox Communications and Big Z Sports. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Back to Tuscora Park. Chris Kale, Joe Keckler here with you. Jacob Heading, our engineer, producer, sitting beside us. We've got uh, Casey Claxon running around here. Doing whatever Casey does. Yeah, doing, doing whatever Casey does. So Sarah Selesky back in the circle for the Lady Quakers who lead 10-0. Got Perk down there doing his thing as well with the sky camera. So we appreciate everybody from Clax Communications. Again, all brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. As Selesky steps into the circle, Kayla Miller, 
the cleanup batter, takes strike number one. Kayla Miller 0 for 1 with a line out back in the first inning. Sowesky working on two strikeouts, two walks. The 0-1 is fouled out of play down the right field line. Two strikes on Kayla Miller, the center fielder. Got some defensive changes for the Lady Quakers. We'll get to in just a moment. And popped up to Reese Loveday, who retires the side, or retires the batter, retires the side. There I am getting ahead of myself, right? Trying to get this game over with quick, aren't you? <laughs> it's chilly, dude. Come on. And I'm getting hungry. Oh, man. Should have got, got up earlier. Yeah. Got home a little late, bud. <laughs> so Zoe Jump will step in now. The fifth batter in the order. Zoe Jump struck out back in the first inning. And she will foul it off. Actually, second inning. I'll take that back. As she fouls off the first pitch from Swasky. A couple changes defensively yep. for the Lady Quakers. Jenna Hankey at second base now for Sarah Cardani. Easton Miller in center field for Peyton Murphy. And Bree Blackburn in right field for Zoe DeVore now. Swasky will deliver. And a shot right to Cardani at shortstop. She'll throw over to Jackson to retire. The batter only one hit given up by Swasky right now. And uh, you know when you're when you're thinking about McInturf Realty Player of the Games, I'm going to stay out of it because uh, I'm not going to be called a homer, <laughs> especially if if uh, part, if she it, has a it, one hitter. It, it, and, it's part of the shout out. It, it's the part of the territory is, you got to go with. So uh, we it is. we get it. We understand. We know you're not playing. And now she was like 0 for four and yeah. gave up seven runs, and you yeah. wanted to give it to her. Then no, but uh, when you if you can if you pitch a, a one hit shutout. And uh, a pair of RBIs at the plate, you know, pretty good day out of your pitcher. I think Maddie Wright's going to have something to say about that as yeah. well, though. Three yep. RBIs, a big home run. No doubt. really get the game uh, going for the Lady Quakers, but Sweski getting it done in the circle. And strike there from Sweski, the off-speed pitch to Lexi Erb, who is 0 for 1. Looks like Cardani went from second to short. Yeah, yep. As she fouls that one back, strike two on Lexi Herb. So I'm sure I've got my scorebook all screwed up now. Yeah, it's it's all good. I, I'm going to have my stuff. I'll get those defensive changes from you in, in a minute. So the 0-2, Sawaski high for ball number one. Coming up here at the end of the month, the NFL Draft. We're going to have a, a special yeah. show with that. Yeah, that's looking be, forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Not a true draft show like we used to do, but low and outside, ball number two. We got to get our sports director back on board with that. I enjoyed. I'm those telling draft you, shows. man, I did and that was too. A lot and of fun. I, did you see what I uh, what I texted oh, out yeah. as soon as I realized that? Well, I know the former sports director used to love to do those draft shows. Yes, and, uh, you know the new one didn't, the, uh, the didn't new really one care, he, didn't care for it that much. So he uh, shot that one down right away. Yes, as he did. Herb gonna ground it over to Hanky and she'll fire over to first base and retire the side. So still working on that one hit shutout is Sarah Sawaski. Lady Quakers lead ten nothing. We move to the fifth. Joe Geckler back on Pay by Play after this on Big Z Sports. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. At Gillen Body Shop, they know that when their business is needed, it's never planned, and that can cause you quite the inconvenience. That's why Gillen Body Shop makes the process as easy as possible for you by making sure the work is completed right the first time. And Gillen Body Shop's experienced staff gives all completed work a 100% guarantee. 
So when those unplanned repairs to your vehicle are needed, there's only one choice. Gilland Body Shop on Cary Avenue in New Philly or find them on Facebook. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising cost, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting harslers.com. All right, welcome back. <laughs> I was a little half inning premature. The That's all right. I called you out on that. That's all right. I think I was premature when I was born, so it's okay. Bottom of the fourth inning, ten a lot of nothing. <laughs> I was I was trying to avoid that. Uh, you're, you're, ten you're, nothing. You're, you're working with me, Come on, <laughs> Quakers in front, and they are at the plate. Jillian Howard. The actually, it's not going to be Jillian Howard. Uh, according to Soweski, it's uh, Olivia Jackson leading off wow. in the flex position. Olivia Jackson going to lead off in the flex. Her first at bat, number 11, the junior who was playing first base. Olivia Jackson now at the plate in the left-handed batter's box. This is and it's one rule in softball one. that I absolutely hate. I think the flex player is the dumbest thing ever. Sorry. It's kind of like the DH. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, I grew up in the National League uh, Baseball, yep. so I hate I'm the DH, you. but they brought it for everybody, so whatever. Yep, I but get it. I, I am uh, the flex position. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I wish they would do away with it. Yeah. I believe that's 2-0, and oh, or 2-1, and one, rather, So to uh, Jackson. <laughs> Adam's yep, giving us the lineup via text now. Yeah, uh, that's Bree, okay. Bree Blackburn's on deck batting for yep. Zoe. So, yeah, that'll be uh, that we had that right at least. And Jackson going to hit that one down the right field line. It's going to be out of play. Even the count at two and two on Olivia Jackson, the first baseman. Why don't we say first base woman? I'm not sure it's gotten to that point yet. <laughs> I'm sure it will eventually. <laughs> Ah, uh, that is the perfect answer. The 2-2 from Bell Tatro to Olivia <laughs> Jackson is low and outside, ball three. So full count on Jackson. That was that was pretty awesome, I must say. Might get in trouble for that, but hey. Uh, it's well, true. <laughs> but it's absolutely the truth, and that's sometimes the truth hurts. And uh, the ball is in the dirt. And Jackson will draw the walk. Sun peeking out of the clouds here at Tuscora Park on the hill at Tuscora Park. Yeah, there's two places Feels nice. that uh, you know, uh, you know. Imagine how cold it would be on the hill in Sugar Creek right now. Ooh. Oh goodness gracious! It's, if it's 60 outside and the wind's blowing on the normal day, yeah. it feels like it's 45 up there. When yeah. it. And now stepping in, number 14, Bree Blackburn, as she will bat against Bell Tatro and takes strike number one. Tatro with three strikeouts and two walks. And it's given up ten runs here in the ball game so far as we are in the bottom of the fourth. And Tatro fires strike number two. It's a Bree Blackburn. So Blackburn down 0-2. Her first at bat. She has pinch runner a couple times here this afternoon. And the 0-2 is fouled back. And jump, good play by Zoe Jump to record the out of Blackburn. And I go back to the top of the order now, and Reese Loveday steps in. Reese Loveday having herself a game, two for three. She grounded out to third base her last time up, but she's got a double, a single, and an RBI. Time called there. Looks like uh, Rick Johnson making a trip to the circle. So we're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this on Big Z Sports. Are you ready to give your home a new look? Look no further than Wayne Door, your one-stop shop for all your residential needs. Garage doors, entry doors, windows, and patio doors. Wayne Door has everything you need to upgrade your curb appeal. With 24-7 emergency service, you can trust their technicians to be there when you need them most. Stop by the Dover showroom on State Route 39 or visit waynedoor.com and let the experts help transform your house into the home of your dreams. 
Wayne Door, more than just garage doors, from the people you can trust. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Back to Tuscora Park. Mountain visit by head coach Rick Johnson over. Tatro will fire. And Loveday will bounce it right to the second baseman. Good play with the little flip down there. I believe that's Glazer, right? She's still out there at uh Sure. <laughs> I think it is. Is that Loveday that Kayla hit Glazer? It? Yeah. yeah, Loveday she, grounded she, out. Her she, first uh her second uh ground out on the afternoon. She's two for four. As a fielder's choice, she is on yeah. first. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you. And Tatro fires high to Sarah Sueski. Sueski pitching a gem on the mound. She's two for three, fouled out her last at bat. Love day down at first as Jackson was put out over at second base on the fielder's choice. Tatro. Delivers, and nice Sawaski over to shortstop, and a good play by Addie Kaufman to retire the side. She retires Sawaski, and that's going to retire four innings here. We move to the top of the fifth this time. Joe Geckler will be back right after this on Big Z Sports. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Sawesky text you at all? No, oh, no, 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 no. She's pitching. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Sarah Sawesky still on the mound. And uh, Joe Geckler, let's finish this one up. Yep. Top of the fifth inning. The Lady Quakers lead 10 0. Pirates need uh, to get a run on the board to continue this ball game here today on the hill at Tuscora Park. We're going to have seven, eight, and nine. Addie Kaufman. Clea Glazier and Ashley Yoder, the first three to bat here for the Lady Pirates. They need a run on the board to keep it going. See what they can do. Addie Coffins played a great defensive game at shortstop here today. She got on with a single, her yep. first at bat. This is going to be her second at bat. She was stranded at second base. Sueski pitching a gem in the circle today for the Lady Quakers, trying to close this one out. Lady Pirates trying to get a run on the board to keep playing as they trail 10-0 here in the top of the fifth. Yeah, you definitely want to keep playing if you're Garraway. I mean, you know, any at-bats and pitches and everything else that you can get in early in the year. First pitch swung on and fouled off by Kaufman. Runs the count to no balls. And one strike. You know, like we were talking about earlier with the, uh, with the weather and everything else and you know, with the rain and whatnot, any the more at bats you can get, the more fielding experience you can get. So they definitely want to keep this one going, Joe. Sweski gets her sign, steps on the rubber, and delivers. 
Again, popped out of play. Four strike two by Kaufman. Kaufman bats from the left side. Braided ponytails out the back of her helmet. Sle no sleeves on the arms, but of course long socks on the legs. The 0-2 pitch changeup in the dirt for ball one. Sarah trying to close out this one-hit shutout win. She can retire the next three. One-two pitch. Going to be in low and inside for ball number two. Runs the count even now at two balls and two strikes. Do you prefer softball or baseball when doing games? 100% uh, softball. When it, when it comes to spring sports, yeah, I, I am 100% a softball dude over baseball. 2-2 two, two um, pitch outside for ball three, runs the count full now at three balls and two strikes. Now, you know, I mean, when that that's when it comes to high school. I'm not saying I don't like high school baseball. Sure. You know what I mean? But uh, I just prefer high school softball. Yep. You? Um, You're a baseball guy. I am a baseball guy, but I enjoy softball. 3-2 pitch lined out to left field. That's going to be over the left fielder's head and off the fence as Kaufman rounds first, heading to second. She's going to head on to third and try to make it three. She slides, and she is safe with a leadoff triple. Wow. Nice job by Addie Kaufman. Turned on the wheels, headed around second, and she slid in pretty hard there at third base. She gets up kind of gingerly, but I think she's okay. She's going to walk it off a little bit. Her uh, Looks like it's going to be a, a lower leg that she's uh, – Worried about here a little bit. She's walking it off down the uh, the uh, third base line. We'll see uh, the, that ball go out of play. If it did, that means she scores and they're still alive. And that's exactly what happened. She got a triple. They threw it to third to try to get her. The ball went out of play, and she's uh, given home. So that's going to be a run for the Garraway Pirates to keep them alive here in the ball game as Addie Kaufman uh, led off the inning with a triple and slid in really hard at third base, and uh, she came up real ginger, but uh, was able to get uh, get home on the errant throw. Yeah, a really nice job by Addie here this afternoon. You know, really good-looking shortstop. She took one off the leg early on in the game. I think that was back in the second inning. In uh, second or third inning, she took one off the shin and now uh, definitely slid in a little awkward over there to third base, but... You know what? She gets the triple and the run scored on the uh, on the throw in, and uh, we keep on playing, Joe. We do. As Addie Kaufman took one off the right leg in the field, it was her slide leg, which she lands on when she slides, which is her left leg that she came up a little ginger on. That's going to bring bring in Kalea Glazier, second baseman. She is uh, no official at bats here today. She walked her first time up, stranded at first base. So the triple. Leads to a run for the Garraway Lady Pirates, and they stay alive here in the top of the fifth inning now, trailing 10-1 to one to the Lady Quakers of New Philadelphia. Soweski's first pitch swung on and dribbled back to her. In between her and the second baseman, she flips it on to first, does the second baseman, Hanky, Hanky and uh, gets the out of Glazer. That goes 4-3 to three on the putout. Yeah, a nice little flip down there by... Uh... Hanky, who just came into the baseball, or the yeah, there we go with baseball and softball, right? Just came into the game uh, just a inning or so ago. Just going to bring up Ashley Yoder, the right fielder slash center fielder today. She lines one back up the middle. Nice try there by Cardani up the middle. Couldn't get to it, and that's going to be a base hit for Yoder, her first of the ball game. Going to bring us back to the top of the order. You're going to have Grace Yoder, number two, and the third baseman for the Lady Pirates. She's 0 for 2 today. Grounded out to the second baseman both times at the plate today. So one out here in the top of the fifth inning. Grace Yoder, maybe square around a bunt. Nope, swings away and fouls it off. Our Big Z Sports sign on the front of the dugout there on the third baseline. Yeah, we got the signs on both dugouts. I like it. So Grace Yoder now in the hole at no balls and one strike. Ashley Yoder at first base after the hard single up the middle. 10-1, to 1, Lady Quakers lead changeup. That ball shot back up the middle. Nice play by Cardani. Steps on second. Fires yeah, the first. Play. That's going to be a double play. 6-3 to three on the double play. Great job there by Sarah Cardini and gets the Quakers out of the inning. But 
One run scored for the Lady Pirates. Keeps this game going. And after four and a half, the Lady Quakers 10, the Lady Pirates 1. Back after this with Big Z Sports. At Gill and Body Shop, they know that when their business is needed, it's never planned, and that can cause you quite the inconvenience. That's why Gill and Body Shop makes the process as easy as possible for you by making sure the work is completed right the first time. And Gill and Body Shop's experienced staff gives all completed work a 100% guarantee. So when those unplanned repairs to your vehicle are needed, there's only one choice. Gill and Body Shop on Cary Avenue in New Philly or find them on Facebook. This is Jordan Hartzler with Hartzler's Quality Housing. In today's housing market, with low inventory and rising costs, there is a need for affordable housing. With our team's knowledge and experience, we strive to provide affordable, quality housing to our customers to help them achieve their dream of home ownership. We have been a family-owned and operated business for 45 years. Conveniently located just off I-77 in New Philadelphia, stop by and browse their model homes or learn more by visiting Hartzlers.com. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. Welcome back to Tuscora Park. Joe Geckler, Chris Kale. Big thanks to our presenting sponsor today, Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. The guys over there at Tuscarawas Insurance Agency doing a great job, as always, uh, supporting high school sports here in our area for Big Z Sports. Uh, they do a lot with us, football, basketball, baseball, softball season as well, and uh, we appreciate what they do for us in Big Z Sports. Of course, course, coming up after the game, our Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show, and we'll have our Mac and Surf Realty Player of the Game as well. Big thanks to Wayne, thanks to Wayne Dore today for our instant replay as you've been checking out our stream on YouTube. Leading off for the Lady Quakers is going to be Azalea Cervantes. If I mispronounced that, I apologize. Yeah, Cervantes, I would say. As she gets a bat on the ball to second base, going to be fielded by the second baseman for the out, uh, out number one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Yeah, Azalea came in and left field the last inning, a fielding replacement, and put bat on ball right there. So good job by Cervantes to uh, get the bat on the ball, just couldn't get it through. Looks like Jenna Hankey now stepping in to bat for uh, Ellie Mason. She came in in her spot, but playing second base. Strike from Bell Tatro to Jenna Hankey. Caitlin Hughes on the in the on deck circle. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you know what? Getting some valuable at bats from some of the younger kids here for the New Philadelphia Quakers. Good job by John Dubke to do that. Swing and a miss. Four. Waved at that one. I believe strike two on that. No balls, two strikes now to Hankey. Swing and a miss. That's strike three and out number two of the inning here for the Lady Pirates. As Tatro gets the strikeout of Hankey, that's her fourth of the ball game for Tatro. Like you mentioned, Chris, getting some young players in against a really good pitcher in Bell Tatro, and they'll get some uh, valuable at-bats here against uh, one of the better pitchers in our area. The first pitch now to Caitlin Hughes. Going to be a strike. Yeah, Caitlin Hughes in the ball game as well. Tatro, a uh, all-time uh, wins leader, strikeout leader, single season strikeout leader, game strikeout leader uh, for the Lady Pirates. So uh, had a great career, has Bell Tatro. Yeah. She was an All-Ohio pitcher back her sophomore year. Yeah, I mean, she's just she just had a rough afternoon like a lot of pitchers do sometimes, right? Strike nice two there. swinging there by Caitlin Hughes. And one ball, two strikes now to Hughes. Tatro uh, throwing some seeds here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that's going to do it. One, two, three inning. Go the Lady Quakers. And after five innings, the Quakers lead 10-1. to one. Back after this with Big Z Sports. 
At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at PAC. Drilling.com. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone, and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Go back to Tuscora Park. Top of the sixth inning. Lady Quakers lead the Lady Pirates 10-1. Sarah Sawesky dealing to the opposing pitcher, Bell Tatro. And Tatro takes strike one looking to start off the top of the sixth inning. 10-1. Lady Quakers lead the Lady Pirates. Pirates get a 1-2-3 inning in the bottom of the fifth to get here to the sixth inning. 2-3 and 4 now for the Lady Pirates as Tatro lines it down the first baseline right into the glove of the first baseman for out number one. So Bell Tatro now 0 for 3 on the day. Going to bring in number seven, Krista Miller, the left fielder. She's 0 for 2 on the day. Fielder's choice. Four to six, her first at bat, and grounded out five to three in her second at bat here today. Today, this, this is going to be her third at bat. That wind can go away anytime it wants. Yeah. So we heard uh, talk to Coach Rick Johnson in the in, in between innings. There, he said uh, Addie Kaufman uh, going to be out of the game. Yeah. Uh, dealing with a little bit of an injury, and uh, they'll get that a. a uh, Dressed and yeah. figure that out. We'll see who comes in for her. Yeah, thoughts and prayers to her. Hopefully everything's good and uh, you know she'll be back at their next next game this week. A right side injury. Uh, she he didn't elaborate anymore, and we will not either. Yep. Don't want to speculate anything. So the first pitch to Miller is going to be over the middle of the plate for strike one. Krista Miller again 0 for two on the day. Fielder's choice in her first at bat four to six and grounded out five to three. And her second at bat. Sawaski only has given up the two hits. The one was the triple to Kaufman that ended up getting that uh, game-saving run because it was going to be run-ruled had that not happened. And, uh, you know, that's where we sit at 10-1, to 1, still with two innings to play. 1-1 one, one pitch, going to be high and inside. Looks like a ball might have got away from Sawesky there in the circle. Cold, of course. The grip, uh, the grip's a little challenging sometimes when it's cold. <laughs> and what she do, she looks straight over to me and gave me that yee. And I, she does that all the time because she knows I make fun of her on those pitches. But Well, I'm calling. Okay. I'm calling. I'm not making fun of her. That's all right because I'm allowed to because I'm her uncle. <laughs> well, she was mad at you yesterday. so That's all right. She, she's been mad at me before because I'm her uncle. So. I know. How would you like to be related to me? <laughs> I won't comment on that. <laughs> I'll get in trouble for that one. 3 1 pitch. Bounced to the second baseman. Fielded. Oh, got underneath the glove. And she's going to beat it out at first base, does Krista Miller. Uh, that was a hard hit ball, a tough play. It took a weird it, hop. It did didn't take it? a weird hop there. And I'm going to give Krista Miller a hit on that. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that was uh, that was going to be a tough play. A high chop and a kind of an in between hop a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give Krista Miller a base hit on that. That's going to bring in Kayla Miller uh, to, play, to the plate. She is 0 for 2 on the day as well. Yeah, definitely a bad hop for Hanky there at second base. And, uh, wow. Foul. Just, just just past the third base uh, bag and into the left field, but just foul. That would have been uh, – that might have been a double for Miller, but just went foul. 
one thing I mentioned last night during the game in softball games, I love the, the chatter and chants, and you don't hear that as much in baseball, but softball you hear it a lot, and uh, young ladies get into it. And it's a lot of fun to listen to. Yep, I agree with you 100%. Just outside for ball number one. One ball, one strike now to Kayla Miller, the center fielder. She's 0 for 2. She's lined out to third base and popped out to the catcher in her first two plate appearances here today. Yeah, definitely ain't going to hear the chance out of the baseball dugout. Dribbled up the middle to the second baseman. He flip, she flips on to second base, does Hanky, and they get the runner at second base, but Miller makes it on the fielder's choice. The put out goes four to six for out number two. Going to bring in number five, Zoe Jump, the catcher for the Lady Pirates. She's 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout on the afternoon so far, her third at bat. And Sewesky deals. Line to second, or shortstop, excuse me, nice field by the shortstop Cardani and flips, flips it on to first base for out number three. So the hit does not come back to haunt Sewesky and the Lady Quakers and they get the third out and back to the be back for the bottom of the sixth inning after this. You're listening to Big Z Sports right here with Big Z Sports and Claxon Communications back after this. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Thad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Standing here at Tuscora Park, Joe Geckler, Chris Kale. Big thanks to Tuscross Insurance Agency, our presenting sponsor for high school sports in the spring for Big Z Sports. And of, uh, we're in the bottom of the sixth inning. The Lady Quakers lead 10-1 to over the Lady Pirates of Garraway. Looks like Sarah Cardani going to lead off for us here in the bottom of the sixth. She lines one into center field, and that's going to drop in front of the center fielder and for a base hit. Guess what, Sarah Cardani, Cardani now four for four on the afternoon with a with – a, uh, Looks like three single or four singles. Four singles. Yep. Yep. She stealed. She's got Ste two stealed. steals. Yeah, she's stealed. She's got two steals. <laughs> she scored and she's got an RBI. Really a, a stat filler. See, she stealed because she's, she's a, a stat filler right now. She Sarah Cardani, a nice game. She stole it. She stole it. Easton Miller in the bat now. She squares the bunt around. They're going to fire it down to second. And there's nobody there as Cardani's going to move on to third base. Stole second, move on to third base on the error by the the, the throw. I'm actually going to give the error to the shortstop on that because uh, that was a nice throw by the catcher, but the shortstop was not there to receive it. That's her second, that's her third stolen base on the afternoon for Cardani and the ninth for the Lady Quakers. Easton Miller has a 1-0 count. She bunts one down. Back to the pitcher, wow. Tatro. Fires the first. She's going to be safe, and the run scores. Kind of a safety squeeze almost as the ball gets away. What a nice piece of hitting by Easton Miller, though. Easton. Just the little dink to finish the game up as she gets the uh, the final RBI. 
And that's going to do it here as uh, I, I totally forgot about the run rule and uh, makes it 11 to 1. Yep. And that will finish the ball game here as the Lady Quakers get the mercy in the bottom of the sixth inning, 11 to 1 over the Lady Pirates. One final timeout. We'll come back and wrap this up in our Dumont Sporting Goods post game after this with Big Z Sports. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. At Gillen Body Shop, they know that when their business is needed, it's never planned, and that can cause you quite the inconvenience. That's why Gillen Body Shop makes the process as easy as possible for you by making sure the work is completed right the first time. And Gillen Body Shop's experienced staff gives all completed work a 100% guarantee. So when those unplanned repairs to your vehicle are needed, there's only one choice. Gillen Body Shop on Cary Avenue in New Philly or find them on Facebook. Welcome back to Tuscora Park for one final time in our Dumont Sporting Goods post-game show. Joe Geckler, Chris Kale here for high school sports with Big Z Sports and Claxon Communications. Final here at Tuscora Park as the Lady Quakers knock off the Lady Pirates of Garraway 10 or 11 to 1 by uh, via the mercy rule. And uh, Chris, a really uh, offensive game today for the Lady Quakers. Uh, after coming off that tough loss to the Lady Tornadoes last week across, or last night across the river, yep. um, you know they pretty much dominated that game the whole way through from from first inning all the way to the bottom of the sixth inning. Dover was able to get Jenna Mock uh, uh, to the plate with a, a few runners on. She uh, kind of cleaned the bases there and and did a nice job last night uh, to, to knock off the Lady Quakers late. But, man, they rebounded very well today. Came yes. out, started in the first inning, three big runs early on. Maddie Wright with a two-run bomb got out of here in the stands in left field, and uh, they were off and running early and often. They scored uh, eight runs in the first two innings and kind of never looked looked back after that but uh, great win by the uh, lady Quakers here today led by their senior pitcher Sarah Soweski in the circle and of course their senior Maddie Wright at the plate yeah I, I couldn't agree with you more I mean when you're sitting here looking at uh, McIntyre Realty player of the game candidates look Sarah Cardani had a great oh, game absolutely. Uh, the sophomore you know ended up four for four with uh, four singles three steals uh, three runs scored. She really, really played a good game. Sarah, you know, only the two strikeouts, but uh, did a nice job at the plate as well. Two for four. Um, you know, she had a pair of RBIs and a pair of singles. Um, you know, Sarah did a nice job as well. But I think uh, we came up with our McIntyre Realty Player of the Game. And, we did. Uh, you know, in, in football season, we do what we call a hats off and yep. it, because, it, you know, you're going to have a great game. Yep. And, and our hats off today, if we were doing that for yeah. softball, would have went to Sarah Cardani yep. for sure. Uh, Sarah Soweski would have got one as well. Uh, great yep. games by both of the Sarahs. Uh, yep. But our McIntyre Realty Player of the Game today is Maddie Wright. 
three for four, three RBIs, a big home run, three runs scored, and uh, really jump-started this offense today for the Lady Quakers. And so hats uh, our McInturf Realty player of the game, Matty Wright, uh, with a great game for the Lady Quakers. Yeah, when you when you look at a home run, three RBIs, two steals, three runs scored, she was a stat filler. Uh, she started things off, like you said, with that two-run bomb uh, in the first inning. You know, right after Sarah, uh, you know, got the infield RBI single as well. And uh, it just pretty much steamrolled from there. The Quakers bounce back. They get the big win. They even their record at 3-3 three and three on the year. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, what plays out for the Lady Quakers down the road. And, uh, you know, look, Garraway, uh, you start to look at them. You hope Addie Kaufman is okay after uh, getting nicked up. She had the big triple that led to the one run scored. Um, you know, Bell Tatro had a little rough outing. But the, you're going to have that as a pitcher in, in high school softball and baseball. And now we'll see if Garraway can bounce back with head coach Rick Johnson as uh, they move on. Definitely warmer weather next week. Hope so. And you uh, you mentioned a great segue there to next week. We look at the schedule for Big Z Sports next week. We're back on the air Tuesday on the Hill in Sugar Creek as these Lady Pirates uh, will play host to the Tusky Valley Lady Trojans. Uh, myself and... Uh, Stumpy will be, uh, Aaron nice. Stumpy will be on the call for Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be back on the air as well at Strasburg for uh, probably the game of the year. It's going to decide who comes out of the uh, the region if or the district, excuse me, if I had to guess later on in the mm -hmm. year. But uh, the defending, two-time defending state champion Strasburg Lady yeah. Tigers will host the Connaughton Valley Lady Rockets. Going to be a great matchup. You don't want to miss that Amelia one. That's going to be. and Macy Baker. Oh, and That's then, all you uh, need to know. And Macy's not been pitching a lot this year. They've got three. Three great arms out there at yep. Connaughton Valley. That's going to be a great one Wednesday. Excited to get back out to see uh, some uh, Strasburg Lady Softball, uh, Lady Tiger Softball with uh, the Connaughton Valley Lady Rockets. Myself and Shannon Thomas will be on the call on that one on Wednesday. Busy week next week, Thursday as well. Strasburg, we turn around on Thursday. Strasburg at Indian Valley. That'll be a good one. Nick and Shannon on the call for that one. Uh, so uh, busy week next week for high school sports with Big Z Sports. And uh, great to be back on the call again today tonight uh, or today for this one as well. Uh, the Lady Quakers again win in six innings, 11-6 to six, and uh, great being back on the call with you, my man, and yep. uh, hopefully warmer weather next time I see you, and yeah, uh, no we're not kidding. bundled up like it's football season. No kidding. I agree with you. Again, uh, hats off to the Lady Quakers. Did a nice job, and uh, Sarah, you know, Great game on the mound for the senior, and uh, they just got to keep it rolling. Absolutely. Again, we're going to wrap it up here in our Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show. Big thanks again to everybody with Claxon Communications and everybody here with the hospitality with the Lady Quakers. Final score again, 11-1. to Lady Quakers knock off the Garraway Lady Pirates in our McInturf Realty player of the game is Ellie, or, uh, Maddie Wright, excuse me. She was three for four with three big RBIs, a big home run in the first inning to jumpstart the offense for the Lady Quakers. Big thanks to our sponsors today, Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, Wood Electric, Cush Financial Group, Wendy's, the Buckeye Career Center, Wayne Door, Dumont Sporting Goods, and, of course, Mac and Turf Realty. For Adam Sowesky and Chris Kale, I'm Joe Geckler saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this Claxon Communications production of High School Sports on the Big Z Sports YouTube channel. For the latest news and scores, follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter at Big underscore Z Sports, and on Instagram. Don't miss any of the live stream coverage all season long by simply subscribing for free to Big Z Sports on our YouTube channel. For the best in high school sports coverage, there is only one Big Z Sports.